why would your answer be be forty thousand naira? Except you are making me a shareholder. Hey guys, hi and welcome back to Banter with Audi. I know I've not been around for a very long time. Like I've just been up and down. I'm so sorry to everybody that has been looking forward to videos and not getting any. I'm so sorry. And my job is stressful. So guys. I'm basically going to be talking about like the outrageousness of Ashwabi prices. I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this high pricing for Ashwabis and all that. First of all, is it pronounced Ashwabi or Ashwabi? I will shall call it Ashwabi. So basically, I want to just talk about it because I feel like everybody, every lady that goes for that is attending a wedding is always concerned about hey, how much are they going to call the price of the Ashwabi? I've gone for a lot, a whole lot. I'm not tired, Pestisha, because I'll still turn up for like my G's. My G's, hi guys. <laughs> you do. But the thing is, the prices are so much. A lot of people are complaining. A lot of people are complaining about the price. Why would your answer be be 40,000 naira? Except you are making me a shareholder in your wedding. Tell me when you're expecting. Tell me when you're traveling out. Tell me when you're doing something because i need to know i paid for i paid for it i'm a shareholder in your wedding you gotta tell me i'm not saying that it's well you know most of the time these materials in the market are not even that price and now you just come you tell us the price and we have to buy because what we are your friends we want to you know do this for you so people can do that for us like the pricing for aswebi it's too high it's too hard. You can say the color for the day is purple. Wear purple or like the way they call the colors these days. They wear spirogyra green, fuchsia pink, net yellow. The thing is that just tell someone to pick a color. The color for the day is this. Everybody show up in this color. Or if you want to get us to wear actually, please the pricing matters. I overheard a friend of mine talking about like a wedding she was supposed to go for and the price of the actually was 50,000 Naira. 50k the bride hadn't even finished her nysc she was still a copper and obviously your friends are going to be coppers and a few people that have finished nysc right so basically they pay coppers 19.8 right and okay let's say for those coppers that have other things doing or their offices pay them 15k 20k all together in a month they are getting like 30k or 40k or 50k then for others that really have good ppas they pay them well fine and good but on average you have you are a copper and you're you get your fixing your wedding and you want your friends to come and most of them are coppers and your shabby is fifty thousand naira that is not even realistic honestly like if i want you to come for my wedding like i might just make it affordable for you so that because you are doing me a favor i shouldn't pay you shouldn't pay for it right like it's it's getting out of hand like a lot of people are i don't know it's crazy i honestly this is my own opinion i know people pick fabrics that are expensive and all that but if you look at your friends and you do a survey i feel like you should do a survey first how much can you pay you guys like how much can you guys afford to pay if you, like, if i bring out my ashwabi how much can you afford to pay what is comfortable for you because at the end of the day you're spending you're going to buy the ashwabi you, okay let's say the wedding is in lagos and you're in abuja you fly or you take transport there you won't sleep on the ground in lagos or abuja and you have to be close to the venue right you will still pay accommodation at the end of the day you're spending like 100k on top somebody's head it brides be realistic be realistic we know you want your wedding to be glamorous and amazing but consider those that are wearing their shabby consider those that are coming for your wedding because they will buy a shabby they will do bridal shower for you they will now on top of your head and you now not tell them when you are expecting a boy and you now tell them when you're expecting a girl and you now tell them when you're traveling for honeymoon mm -hmm. i won't shareholder and I deserve to know if I'm spending that amount on your wedding. I deserve to know. What I would say is make do a survey. What can my friends pay? Then you guys pay this. If they can't pay this, if what can my friends pay? If they can pay this, yeah, I can pay 10k, I can pay 15k. 
fine. Look for a material that could go for 15k with gale and all those extra extra. Then give them. The new thing that they've learned now is when you pay the 50k, they'll give you a gift in the Ashebi. It's very amazing to give a gift, right? In the Ashebi. Kimono was the wedding was the gift. Hair dryer was a gift. Stuff, Sha. Cute, cute stuff. But honestly, let's be sincere. If I'm paying 80k or 50k or 40k or 70k for Ashebi, they say it's white and trad plus gale. An extra gift and transportation to you honestly that is a lot let's be considerate consider your friends that want to honor your wedding and come for your wedding like it doesn't it's crazy I'm urging you guys please the brides out there you want us to attend your weddings I want you guys to attend my own that's why I will ask how much can you pay because I'm bringing out this fabric that is this amount. Since you can pay this amount, I'll bring out a cheap fabric. You can pay this amount, I can bring out a, an expensive fabric. And obviously, if all of you are opening mouth to tell me how much you guys can afford, I tell my color, wear red. Wear. You can go to the market and pick the amount, the, the one you can afford. And so, and that's amazing. I, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like when you're picking the color, pick a color that is general, like say red now. People can just go and pick red. And red is like something that is you close. If you don't say yellow, people will just pick different yellows and your wedding will be looking like they are dancing. So what I'm saying is just like basically find out what your friends can afford. Pick it. If they can't, if they're not saying anything, say a color or something because you come to come and tell your friends 100 k I should be and people these people are hustling to eat. That doesn't make sense. Um I hope all the brides are not offended and those that are getting that fixing their weddings are not because me i'm just saying my mind i'm not trying to shade anybody or say anything of that sort but i'm just saying that it is better it will be better for us to reach a conclusion and help each other because these people are trying to help you by coming for your wedding and not you repeat them off that's a report if you ask me so thank you guys for watching this amazing video and have a nice day. If you come to me and tell me your Chevy is 80,000 Naira, I'm not buying. <laughs> I mean, how much do I earn? Now, now come and cut my head on top of your head. And when I'm not getting married, you now come and tell me, I'm pregnant though. I cannot call me. <laughs> you will be there with the baby paid for all those weddings. I paid for all the existing. I am all of you are gonna come for the wedding. All of you are gonna come for my own. <laughs> gonna grace the occasion, man. I have all your shabbies packed in my wardrobe. I'm not even wearing any one. <laughs> I wear some shirt. But the thing is that after you sew for the, the wedding, you don't get to wear them again. So Kedi, for what are we what are we shouting? But Kedi fail with the problem. What's the problem, man? What means you? <laughs> Thank you for watching this amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with people so that people can understand the pain that we feel inside for us that always go for wedding. We have a lot of friends and we have to great occasions, so yeah, we have to always go for wedding. So please, guys, get make it affordable for we people that don't have. Make it affordable for us to buy. The hustle is real. Nigeria is hard. You can't extend you to cough out money for your wedding. And I'd not meet him with you. I'd not meet her with you. I don't know if the same applies to guys, but this is for girls. Pain girls, I can do. Oh, did you guys see this? This is me. When I was a baby. A baby. Baby Audi. I was actually very fat. <laughs> I know, right? I was really fat. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this amazing video. Bye guys. Bye guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.